guys, welcome to You Gotta Hear Hamilton. I'm your host, Chris Adam. And you know, I was wondering, maybe there might be a place where you can eat and play a game at the same time? I don't know. I'm trying to think here. Hey, you know what? Maybe there is a place. Gameopolis sounds like a place that you could do that. Maybe one of these games right here? In short, I guess, uh, Gameopolis, uh, we're a board game cafe or lounge. Um, so we have over 700 games right now. Uh, people come in um, to play board games is our biggest draw for sure. Um, so you, most people, it's five dollars per person. Uh, for kids or um, adults over 60, uh, it's 250. We also have uh, Tuesdays is half price, so it's always 250 a person. Um, so once you pay that fee, you have access to any of the games. You can play as many games as you like. Uh, there's no time limit. I own it with my husband, uh, Nick, and we. Basically, we're trying to figure out what business we wanted to open. We are both interested in owning our own business, so it made sense to do something together. We both love board games, we've kind of dragged them everywhere every time we go to our friends, our families, so it just kind of made sense that this would be the happy kind of medium that we could have between for the two of us. We're always getting new games in, so typically it's whatever the newest game is. Like right now, um, Kings of New York is a really great game because it's the sequel to Kings of uh, Tokyo, um, but Catan gets played a lot, and like a lot of we have like a lot of card games like Coup and, and Avalon and stuff like that. They get played a lot too. When we started, we had um, about two bookshelves of uh, games, and when we decided we were going to open, we started really ramping up our selection. So uh, we went through various like thrift stores and Salvation Army stores and stuff like that. Um, but now we we have a couple different distributors, so we just board, buy board games directly from where uh, like normal retail stores would buy them from. We do offer food and drinks, uh, and we do have alcohol uh, license as well. Um, so for the food, we have all vegetarian. Uh, most can be vegan at no additional cost. We decided to go vegetarian because Jess and I have been vegetarian for like 10 plus years now. So it's like do what you know, right? So. Um, and a lot of the recipes that we have here um, are our favorite things to eat. So we have a light fare menu, so like paninis, uh, salad, uh, chips and salsa, hummus, snacks, chips, that sort of thing. The salsa is really, really popular. We've uh, been tweaking the recipe for pretty much since we've got been open. Um, and then we also have like cafe styles. So we have like coffee, lattes, hot chocolates, um, pop. It tends to be kind of the perfect atmosphere, I think, for students. It's a lot of fun, kind of hang out with your friends. Also, we find it's a great first date um, place to come to. Uh, very chill and comfortable, no pressure. Play some games, get to know each other. We do tournaments uh, throughout the year. Uh, in December, um, this is our second annual, we do a Hungry Hungry Hippos tournament uh, for the food bank. So all proceeds uh, for turn the tournament go to the food bank. Um, and basically we have a tournament at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on December, Saturday, December 13th, um, as well as a tournament at 7 p.m. So don't forget to check out Gameopolis with its vegetarian menu and 700 plus games. I'll see you guys later. And for now, I'm going to play my favorite game of all time. Do you think I look like your dog? <laughs>